with the Mogra Adventure Series? Tonight, Mobile Brochure has sent us to get a behind-the-scenes look of Sugarland's Distilling Company. And we're going to do a little moonshine tasting, just for research. I do declare I need some moonshine. Now, what makes our moonshine different from other moonshine around here? Locally owned and operated. Hit me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So Sugarlands isn't just locally owned and operated. One of the things that really stood out to me about the company is how focused they are on community. Even the corn that they use to make the moonshine is grown here in Tennessee. A head at 178 proof. He let us sniff some moonshine that was 178 proof and whew, it was strong. It's amazing to me that all of the moonshine that is sold in all of the 25 states across the country is made in this one building. And it's made in small batches by people that really care. We'll work for moonshine. Every single label on every single jar of moonshine is put there by hand, just like I got to do. I'm gonna need this tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me to Sugarlands Distilling Company. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up with all of the Mobro adventures in the Smokies. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to check out next, or if you have any questions.